Hello, my name is Oleg, and today I will show you how to assemble pyro printer and prepare the device for use. Cut the ties and open the box. This box is work table of the device. I will completely disassemble the box and show you what should be included. These two parts are unnecessary, I put them aside. I am unpacking the banner now. Cutting the black ties. Pay attention, you do not need to cut the red ties. I say this because there were such cases too. I continue to unpack. This is a package with parts of the work table. So, this is the USB cable. These are the balls for assembling the work table. This is a cantle wire for making new tips. The most important thing is a flash drive with the program and user manual. And the flash drive, sandpaper and plywood for test working. Power supply adapter for American outlet and European style power cord, ruler and substrates for the ruler. I will talk about them later. Let's start assembling the work table. The set includes three packages, numbered 1, 2, 3. I put the side package number 3 with spare parts. And this one too. I need package number one with labeled table. Parts of the table are numbered. They must be arranged in order. One, two, three, four. These parts need to be fastened to these planks. There are protruding bolts on this side of the plank. It should be collected like this. Let's do it. So far, let's remove the axis so as not to interfere. I take the bolts from package number one. I take the key from the kit and tighten the bolts all the way, so that the protruding parts of the plank crash into the boards of the table. Done. Now I will install the banner rails. I tighten the bolts. But do not tighten too tightly, so that after installation the banner I can make adjustments.
The next step is to install the ruler. The set includes two parts for the ruler. Which one to install depends on how thick your plywood is for burning. I will put in a 6mm one. I put a ruler with centimeters. Because on this side, on the edge, if you look closely, there are two thin lines. They are to clean the banner from set. To align, slide the part and ruler all the way to this side. I tighten it all the way. I put the banner on the rails. I will set the rails already relative to the ruler. Checking the center of the wheels on the rails. If necessary, then adjust the rails. Next, you need to roll the banner on the rails and make sure that the tip of the banner moves strictly along the edge of the ruler and does not move in any direction. If necessary, we move the rails and check again. Now I will show you how to properly secure the power cord on the work table. First, I set the tip of the banner opposite the number 1 on the ruler. Then I connect the cord to the device. Then I lay it like this. Note that the bend in the cord should be roughly opposite these holes. Using the supplied red ties, I will secure the cord to the device. I mark with the marker where the cord mount will be. Now I will secure the cable to the work table. and I connect the power cord with the plug to the power converter. Let's check. Pay attention to the cable. Good. Now the device is completely ready to the first launch. About it will be my next video. Let's remove the unnecessary. And see you in the next video. Good luck!